In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make five circle options infographics slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have put the starting point here and then I've added a circle, red circle with the white circle. Then I've put the option A along with the icon within the, the 3D circle. You can add your title here and at the bottom you can add the detailed text. And then this is getting connected with the option B uh, with the different colors you can see here. Again, these are connecting to C, D and E and then the finish uh, text item I have added here. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. And apart from that, I've just added one more slide. You can see here without the circles in the center and one more slide I've just put without the start and finish. Add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the oval shape just click it and go to the format height you can make it maybe a 2.2 and the same width 2.2 you can see here then align center align middle and shape outline you can make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice and I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate this. You can see here and the height I'm going to make is 1.9 and the width also I'm going to make it the same. And press enter key, bring it here and I'm going to make it maybe uh, for the time being light gray color. Again, align center, align middle. And then I'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and if you want you can give the shadow effect from here or to give the shadow effect i can press ctrl d to duplicate this shape fill i'm going to make it full black then you can go to soft edges here and increase the soft edges can you see here and then you can go to shape fill and increase the transparency so you got the shop uh, this uh, shadow effect and then you can place it here and send this to back the next step is i'm just going to select all press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then just put it next to this one you can see here and then I'm just going to connect these two white circles to connect go to insert shapes I'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle exactly in the center you can see here and make sure that this is also the same color I'm going to use it let me just zoom in and then I'm just going to give some effect here so for that right mouse click edit points and you can see here i'm just going to reduce this one and this also i'm just going to reduce it and from bottom also i'm just going to reduce it something like this all right you can see here and then let me just remove the outlines and i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here let me just give some other color so that you can understand so you can see here this is the way i'm just going to connect it exactly in the center and then give the same color so you can see here i have just got connected with this let me just select this and give some other color maybe orange so you can see here i have just connected this i can just select all and using the arrow key i'm just going to move to the left side you can see here and then I'm just going to select this, press Ctrl D, just add it one more here, giving the less space. You can see here. Again, press Ctrl D and make sure that this got the equal spacing. You can go to the format, align, distribute horizontally. So the equal spacing. And then you can just come here and change the color of your choice. Let me just select some different colors. And then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to copy and just paste it here exactly, put it in the center. Again, press Ctrl D, make sure that it is center. And one more Ctrl D. So you can see here we have just 
finish the basic design let me just close these guides so you can see here i've just finished this one select all by pressing ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it and then go to format align center align middle so we have uh, aligned center and middle and then you can add more options or more shadow effects also if required now it's time to add the icons for that uh, before adding i'm going to add some more circle shape go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the oval shape at the center of the first option maybe this much size you can see here put it exactly in the center make it no outline and give the same color and i'm going to give some 3d effect for that go to 3d format and select this one soft round you can see here press ctrl d just copy it for all the other options and just change the color as per the sequence you can see here i'm just going to select this color then comes this and the last one the blue go to insert click on icons again this feature is available only in the new version of powerpoint all the other older version of powerpoint like 2016 13 7 10 this is not available i have provided a video a month ago on this uh, the free icons you can just download the free icons from there so let me just randomly select uh, five icons from here and click insert you can see here I'm going to make the height as maybe 0.5 only height and width and then I'm just going to place it here you can see here one by one whichever icon you need to place it just add it and you can select one by one by holding the shift key and you can change go to the format and graphic outline you can make it white also you can see here white and shape fill you can make it no fill and if you want you can just increase the weight also you can see here you can just do something like this or you can uh, keep it the black objects only and you can just add the title go to insert text box you can just add the title center align again I'm going to set the font Oswald, reduce the font size and just put it here the title. Press Ctrl D. If the title space is not available, you can add it at the bottom also. That is not a problem at all. So you can see here we have added the title and then let's add some detailed text here. let me just center align reduce the font size i'm going to give a gray color and just add press ctrl d and just add your detail text here make sure that it is properly aligned let me just select i will go to format align top and i will move it up so that it is properly aligned and you can add one more uh, the connection points from the with the start and finish so i'm just going to select this press ctrl c click outside ctrl v bring it here change the color to red you can see here and increase the size and put it exactly in the center if you want you can just increase the width also so you can see here and the same thing press ctrl d and i'm just going to copy the other side and change the color to blue and send this to back both we need to send this to back and then you can just add the text press ctrl d you can say here this is the starting point start make the font as white press ctrl d and put it here as finish so you can see here like this you can just add 
the design and if you want you can just put the option <clears throat> sorry a b c d also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye